set these huge goals when I'm building my business and creating the content. So even if I fail miserably, get halfway there, 25% of the way there, it covers everything that I need. Uh, I'm able to operate in abundance and not be restricted by any means. So it's important to have that, that mindset coming into this. What this also allows is for you to release expectations, right? I would hate for you to come into this creating an expectation that you're going to be some famous TikToker and famous Instagram or person overnight, famous guru influencer overnight. Hate to break it to you. It may or may not happen. You don't want to set the expectation, right, of doing this in such a short period of time, fail, right, and then quit. Rather, just set the huge goal and let's create steps to get there. And even if you fail miserably, you're giving yourself that, that room to fail. You're giving yourself that room to fail, right? So that you can, you don't want to quit. That's it's very, very key that we do not want to quit this strategy. <clears throat> so with that being said, you got to know your numbers, know where you stand. First 90 days of prep, prep work. What does that include? Just getting your budget down. That's knowing your numbers, developing a schedule. When I'm working with, when I'm working with moms, I tend to, you know, ask them what their entire day looks like. The moment they wake up to the moment they go to sleep and I'm looking for free time in her schedule that might amount to only three to four hours a week or maybe 10 hours a week right but we're looking for time to put into this project so develop your schedule we need to come up with the ideas and topics that you're going to discuss on your channel or channels right the platforms the social media where what are you going to talk about preferably i personally i stuck with three topics but I initially started with one thing, talked about one thing. For me, that one thing was velocity banking. Although I love God and I want to tell the whole world about God and how you can be saved and all this stuff, the people that I'm serving are trying to get their numbers right. They're not concerned about what God has to say most of the time. They want to get their numbers right. So I'm solving their problem first. Now that I've earned their trust because I solved their problem, now I can start dropping a different seed into their life, start talking kingdom, start talking salvation, start talking redemption, start talking scripture. At least they won't. I know at that point they won't shut me out. But if I lead with it and I say I do this, but I'm talking about this, you're confusing your audience and they will leave, right? Because their attention span is terrible. Everybody's attention span is terrible today. So focus on one thing. Get good at one thing then you can expand to other things after you've mastered that one thing that you're going to be good at and then literally i i have not breached above three main topics any sub topic that i talk about is part of a main topic right so velocity banking is the main topic i talk about on my channel a sub topic would be how do i find a line of credit what credit score do i need to get a line of credit that's a sub topic within the main topic so it doesn't deviate from what the viewer is coming for. Now, if I talked about, oh, here's how you can get saved overnight, or here's how you can start learning how to read the Bible more, they don't care about that. They care about velocity banking or whatever your topic is that you're covering. That's what they wanna, that's what they came to your channel for. So try not to deviate from that main message, right? So that's a whole part of your prep process. Develop that main message, those ideas and topics you wanna discuss. And eventually narrow, narrow, narrow to get to one main. And as you grow and as you build, maybe max out at three, right? My three is velocity banking, infinite banking, kingdom authority. I do not deviate from that. The moment I start deviating, I'm going to lose people. I'm going to lose my core audience. It's going to distract them and nobody wins. Okay. Next thing is tools. What tools do we need? Right. There is a phenomenal YouTube channel called Think Media. Okay. Think Media. They literally break down everything you need to start uh, a YouTube channel or, you know, any type of platform you want to be on. But I think they specialize in YouTube and they'll give you all the different um, budget ranges, like how to start a YouTube channel with $100. Like they'll literally show you that or 500 or 5,000 or 50,000. Right. So they have different tiers all for free. They do have like paid programs and stuff, but. I'm telling you right now, you just watch the videos, the free videos, it'll really help you develop and understand what tools you need 
to get things rocking and rolling. And that kind of leads into the resources, partners, who do you want to work with? Who do you want to develop this channel with? Are you gonna do it alone, solo, and then expand later? Or are you gonna have a partner, right? What are the responsibilities that you're gonna, you know, develop and all that good stuff? Then it leads to your setup. Are you going to be standing up like I am every single time when you do videos? Are you gonna sit at a desk? Are you gonna have a whiteboard behind you or an easel? Or are you never gonna be on camera and are you just gonna be sharing your screen, right? So we need to kind of work through how am I gonna present this content to my audience? Do I wanna use you know, a marker whiteboard or do I wanna use a, uh, a whiteboard on my computer you know, with a pen and stuff? How do I wanna present myself? Do I wanna be on camera? Do I wanna show my whole body? Or do I, I want to show half, right? Or do I want to show just like face and like chest right here? So work through that. And you can literally like, when I'm talking to my moms, I'm like, look, hey, walk around the house. Where can we set up? Living room, your bedroom. We need to find a quiet area, right? Once we find that quiet area that we want to set up, you can literally preset your little studio, right? To get things going. And every time you show up, it everything is already preset you've already got it in your mind what you're gonna do that you're taking the guessing work out of it and you're also reducing that nervousness before you hit the red button right so developing that setup in the first 90 days is critical and then i'll end with picking one platform like you may hear a lot of advice on clubhouse especially Maybe Instagram, hey, you gotta be everywhere. You gotta post everywhere. You know, you hear Gary Vaynerchuk, you gotta post everywhere. Oh my God, you gotta post 50 times a day. That's not reality for 95% of the mothers I work with. So I tell them, pick one platform. Pick one thing you're gonna talk about and become a master in and pick one platform that you're gonna share your material on and just master that. Get good at just doing that. Once you built your rhythm, you can then expand. But to say that I'm gonna start a YouTube channel, Facebook account, Instagram account, LinkedIn, Snapchat, Medium, blog, uh, what's the other ones? TikTok, eight, you're gonna be on eight different platforms, you're gonna post eight times a day, yeah, right, I wanna see you do that. With, with no, with on a tight budget, and you know, four to five hours to spare per week, yeah. That's 70 to 90% of Americans just do not have the time to put into expanding like that online and by the way it's going to cost money right to actually do that successfully or else you're just throwing stuff at the wall and just seeing what sticks i don't like that i like black and white i like black and white strategies okay this will work whether it's the beginning of youtube or 20 years from now black and white right so that's how i like to operate um so pick one platform for this example i'm going to show you youtube being our platform this is the platform that i use i know it very well i've mastered it and then i started expanding i started expanding to instagram i started expanding to linkedin facebook and a little bit of tiktok right so that's prep 90 days three months this may happen for you in 60 days right or 45 but at least we're we're setting the parameter okay so let's say it's boom exactly 90 days on the dot the next 90 days you're literally just going to walk to your setup that we developed right with your tools and stuff and you're going to take your camera or your phone iphone android and you're going to click on video and you're just going to hit the red button that's it you're just going to hit that red button start creating content start talking to the camera even if you mess up you cough you sneeze do not delete anything that you create anything and when i say anything anything can be used to your advantage when it comes to the content that you create. It's insane. All those bloopers, coughs, hiccups, ums, like so's, you knows, that could all be edited and you can call it 2022 bloopers. And it's a fun video, right? That you share with your audience and it helps them get to know you a little bit more while maintaining your, your main stuff. It doesn't deviate, although it's a separate topic, it doesn't deviate, it's just a fun. Here's how I, bring my content to you and how i prep like you know you could even like jump up and down in the video like just hit the red button because I, I have a lot of content that i missed out on because i deleted the video 
you know, I walked onto the camera and I was like, oh, my hair's not right. Or I got something on my, on my eyeglasses. Oh, shoot. And then I'm like, you know, I'll, I'll get sad. I'll get down. I'll forget what the heck I wanted to talk about. Just hit the red button for the next 90 days based off the schedule that you created and the setup that you have. Hit that red button. That's, I got to stress on that. Just hit that red button. The goal is to have 90 pieces of content. Okay. 90 separate pieces of content. Content could mean a blog, a picture, a 60 second video, a 15 second video, or 50 minute video. You want to accumulate 90 pieces of content total. In this example, I'm going to use YouTube. So that would require video. The goal would be to create 90 pieces of video content that you accumulate and you're not gonna hit record right on your phone and when you're done with that first piece of content you're gonna go and look at it and edit it and delete stuff don't do none of that because when you look at your content you're the worst person to rely on when it comes to the actual materials because you're not going to be judging what you said the topic you're going to be judging the way you look how you smiled how you said hello nobody cares about that trust me nobody cares that you didn't do your hair nobody cares that you're wearing a short sleeve shirt instead of a long sleeve shirt nobody cares but you in the beginning trust me nobody cares but you in the beginning because again the viewer is there for what you have to say and teach them about what they literally searched for and you came up in their search how to do this when do i do that where do i get this why is this like this and you came up so when you're creating your content the first uh, 90 pieces of video content just hit that red button once you're done hit the red button again stop right hit it again next piece of content don't even look at it the reason why i say this is because once you've got 90 pieces of content i guarantee you, you're gonna forget the first 30 videos that you talked and you're like you're not even gonna know what's going on you're like what the heck was i talking about in this video it's, it's out of your mind and now you get to just edit into the into the blocks right where you say okay hi my name is denzel rodriguez i'm your personal finance geek of the 21st century on this channel we cover the velocity banking concept infinite banking and kingdom authority today we're going to be discussing bomb right that prior stuff you can edit out of the video so because you waited so long to edit your material you're no longer going to be judging yourself rather you're going to be looking at the material you're going to be reviewing the material and then you can say all right we're going to take out that piece we're going to take out that piece all right boom 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 add a little music add a little pop-up right here we're going to add a little intro and an outro make it pretty bomb done next 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 right you're no longer judging you you're judging your material your content you you completely remove yourself from the equation you're now looking at a person that's talking about your main topic that you are extremely passionate about and educated about and therefore if you in the video made a mistake you can boop, take that out okay but you're not going to be deleting stuff because you walked onto the camera wrong or because you sat down or because you sneezed or you coughed that's easy little edit done quick done okay so in that second 90 day window once you have your 90 pieces of content now you edit then you upload to youtube right we're just using youtube as an example here upload it to the platform then you start scheduling when you're gonna drop the material so this schedule is different from this schedule this schedule in the prep mode is talking about how much time you have to do this project. This schedule is referring to how many times are you going to post? Is it going to be daily? Is it going to be weekly? Right? I wouldn't say monthly. That's way too uh, far out. So I I'm between daily and weekly, meaning one time a week, two times a week, three, four, five, all the way to seven times a week. And obviously you can keep going more than that if you wanted to but to first start things off like i said majority of people it's nice to create a schedule that gives you at least 90 days of content scheduled and ready to go so if you did daily and you got 90 pieces of content that's 90 days that's 
three months of material that you have scheduled, edited, uploaded, ready to go, and it'll be published on your channel, and you'll be posting one time a day, every day, seven days a week, for three months straight. This gives you a window to start creating more content. So at least 90 days. Now, if you said I wanna do three, right? If I wanna do three videos a day, then you just expanded your timeline, right? To roughly 180 days or, or longer, if I'm not mistaken, right? So you determine how much of a window space you're gonna, you're gonna give yourself, right? Obviously, the more consistent, the more frequent you are on these platforms, the more rewarding it will be, no doubt about that. But we're looking at you first, not what YouTube is trending, not what Google says, not what Instagram says, not what this guru said or this influencer said. No, we have to develop what works for Dr. Eddie Connor, what works for Janet, what works for Denzel. We, we gotta, gotta know that, right? So once you have this down, the last 90 days is simply to execute, right? Publish the material. I want you to watch and engage in your own material like comment and share your own material and market yourself rinse and repeat when you go to rinse and repeat the beautiful part here is you've already done the prep work so now you get to eliminate 90 days and just go right back to here create so while you're executing content right so let's break this down 90 days let's say we're in january of 2022 so you got january february march january to march here roughly 90 days here you got April, May, June, execution day, July 1st. And if you did daily, July, August, September, right? So that means from July 1st to September, when you repeat the process, you're here. You're no longer in prep mode because you already did it. You already know. So now you don't need to prep again. You just need to create. So while your material is, is going out to the world and people are starting to see you and they notice you, oh, wow, who's this new person? Oh, wow, cool. There's no work to be done here other than to watch your stuff, like it and comment it, which takes 2.5 seconds to do. It's nothing. You hit the like button, that's 2.5 seconds. You hit a quick quick comment. Hey, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Hey, All right? you hit share to your email list. That, that, there's no work here. Very, very, very little work. Why? Because we, we did all the work in advance, took all the guessing work out of it. Now you get to just watch it grow. Beautiful, All right? As you're rinsing and repeating, you're in creation mode again. And once you do it the second time around, you're going to get faster, right? Like for example, you're going <clears> to, <throat> you may not have to use, um, like, like a piece of paper that tells you what to say, like your scripts or whatever. Like you may not need it anymore. You make it better. Like my, my intro. Hi, my name is Denzel Rodriguez. I'm your personal finance geek of the 21st century. On this channel, we cover the velocity banking concept, infant banking, kingdom authority. In today's topic, we're going to be discussing kingdom authority. Look how I just messed up right there. It doesn't matter. Nobody cares. But you're going to get better, right? Like that right there, that took me a while to get down. Like that script, like something that catches your attention. Okay, he's Denzel Rodriguez. That's his name. He talks about velocity banking, infant banking, kingdom authority. Okay, cool. Today, he's talking about this, which is in line with his title. So it's not clickbait. Cool. Get into the material. I'm going to learn something nice. Like subscribe, comment, right? You, you're building that core audience. That's not going to leave you. Right. And you're going to keep feeding good, good seed into them, into those viewers. And you'll see that come back tenfold. And we're going to get into the proof in just a minute here. So recap 90 days of prep, 90 days of creation, 90 days execution. The longer you spread the schedule, right? Two times a week, three times a week, four times a week, the bigger your window opens, right? For me personally, I was doing one video a day, every single day on YouTube for about six months straight. And then I changed it to roughly five days. I was doing Monday through Friday. And then now for the last uh, two years, 2020 and 2021, I've been doing three days a week consistently on the same days, Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays at 12 p.m. Eastern time, kept it the same. When you do that, you have your audience in a rhythm. They know when to expect you. Oh yeah, Denzel drops a video on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 12 p.m. Eastern time. You're like a TV show to them now, right? They're ready to watch you. They watch you on their way to work, on their on the way home from work. They listen to you in the shower. They listen to you while they're cooking dinner, right? They got you uh, uh, locked in. You got them locked in. 
right? So this is really, really good stuff. This is the uh, YouTube studio, right? Do you guys see how this says scheduled, premiere, 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 scheduled, premiere, scheduled? Can I see that? Can you see the dates? April 11th, 2022. By doing this strategy, I have, con we're in January 19th of 2022. I have content scheduled, booked, ready to go all the way out to April 11th, 2022. Would you say that's roughly 90 days? Roughly, give or take. Y'all can be interactive here at this point. <laughs> Look, this this material all has been pre-recorded, live streamed, all done, clean in advance. And in here are public videos. A public video went live today, January 19th. Why? Denzel posts what? Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, 12 p.m. Eastern time. It's got 68 views, just dropped, right? Here are videos that are unlisted. They haven't been scheduled yet, but that's additional content, right? All that unlisted videos, additional, you guys know this video right here? We did this together, building kingdom commonwealth in the 21st century. You guys remember that? Remember that session? An individual performance is based off of you, what you can do, guys, right? Really Regardless of music. where you come from, your background, grew up without it. Look at that. So Dr. Eddie and I, we, we did this, um, the last session, right? I think that was like roughly, that was last year, pretty sure. That was December, right? And I sent it to my editor. In the beginning, obviously, you may not have an, an, a video editor. You may not be able to afford one. That's no big deal. You post it as is, right? Let me get, let me give you a real, um, I'm gonna go way back in time here. So many people are nervous to post their raw content because they're afraid what people think. I'm going to show you a video that was posted way back 2018. See if I can get through it. You don't have to be an expert. You don't have to be a pro. You just got to have that, that no quitting spirit inside of you and you're going to do all right. So as of, as of today, I think I have roughly probably 600 plus videos at this point. I just want to show you guys the, the evolution of how it looks like when you're first starting out and then what it'll look like once you've become a master once you get good at it you're not going to become a master overnight it may take 50 videos it may take 200 videos i can tell you honestly it's taken me like hundreds of videos for me to really get this stuff down were you guys able to hear my uh computer when i was playing that video okay i think it's this one right here all right, real quick. Did you just see what happened? This guy literally just walked onto the camera. All right, real quick. You guys caught that? Get some interaction here. You know how embarrassing that is? <laughs> it was so embarrassing. <laughs> I made it and it looked kind of smooth to you. <laughs> My head is cut off. <laughs> Look at this. In today's video. His head is cut off at the interest, top. You can't even right? see him. Most We're people. Gonna like you'll hear there was a bunch of comments you're like yo i can't even hear you man you know because i'm talking at the board instead Find of at the, the people at the camera this is in my bedroom right this is rough but look how many views it got 3,800 views now it would have gotten way more had i not made it unlisted right see once you get once you get all uh, uh self-conscious and that self-esteem starts to bite at you i'm being honest with you it bit at me i have so many videos that I do not have public any longer because it was, you know, either I was embarrassed, I was ashamed, I didn't feel like I was qualified. Look at this one, just being real with you. This is what you're gonna go through if you're a content creator. And it's up to you to determine whether or not you're gonna allow that uh, to be an excuse for you to quit. Look at this. Can y'all see my bed? All right, I hope you're ready to see some Can you magic see that right there? happen. We're gonna be talking about. We get some interaction here. Can you see my bed right here? <laughs> That's embarrassing. I got my bed in the camera. These people know where I sleep. My head's still cut off at the top. Embarrassing. Look how many views it got. 31,000. July 2018 was when it got posted. 704 likes. Like, I can take you to the analytics, show you how much people, how many people out there actually love that video. In the, la uh, let's see, let's look at since uploaded. That video has made me $163.78. I gained 285 subscribers. It was viewed a total of 4,300 hours 
amongst 31,600 views. That's insane. And I took it down because I was embarrassed. See, that can, that can affect a lot of people. Like there was a point where I wanted to quit. Started taking down certain videos I didn't like. I was like, ah, I don't like the way that is. Because now I, now I got too good. You know, now I got clean stuff. So I'm trying to clean up my channel. Now I, I totally understand it. I, I uh, can understand when people want to do that, but it can actually hurt you long term if you take down videos that perform very well on your channel because you're judging yourself, right? So I just wanted to show that reality to you, right? And then let me take it back to the top here and show here's what the strategy can produce if you do it right. You'll have roughly 90 days worth of content booked up in advance, ready, scheduled to go. You get to just watch it drop live, okay? Let's go to the overall analytics to see what this strategy has produced. Click on lifetime. I've made over 40 grand over the lifetime of this channel starting. I got over 3.1 million views, 40,000 plus subscribers, over a half a million hours watched. Holy moly, people are glued. My most watched video is a video that came out in 2018 and my most cleaned up edited real clean nice videos are in the dust all right so all these videos that you'll see now on my channel they're real pretty edited it's got music in the background it's got an intro and an outro none of that matters that's what's crazy because what's actually happening is the old content is what's it's it's what youtube is pushing and it's showing the viewers those videos it's insane so the next thing I want to share with you, um, for those that will hire a video editor, I use Dropbox. It is so uh, user friendly, easy to use, no issues whatsoever. You need to have some kind of backup for all the content that you create. So I've got roughly 600 plus videos on my YouTube channel. I think over 550 or so are public, but all of it is being stored here. Why is that? Because my vulnerability is in the event I get canceled, censored, silenced, demonetized, I still got all the content, right? So I got all my content in nice little folders, easy to, easy to read, easy to find, and I can easily start all over again. If I were to get canceled, shut down, demonetized on YouTube, I can easily start over again on another platform, right? And to give you an example of what it looks like a relationship between a video editor and the content creator is I will send them content in a, in a batch, right? And then they'll give it back to me, split up. They'll give me the thumbnail, right? That would be the thumbnail. Okay, cool. And then the video, right? And I'm able to watch it, look it over before I post it, make any other edits before it goes, and then I'm good. All right. So the other cool thing about recording video content is it can be repurposed into many different forms of content. So here are the, here's like the raw footage of me sending the video content to my editor. And then he sends me finished. And I'm at a point now with my video editor where I give him one piece of content and he gives me back content that is uh, formatted for IGTV, Instagram, LinkedIn, right? And that LinkedIn can also be used for Facebook. And then I got YouTube videos, right? Same piece of content. Now here's where your strategy starts to expand. Remember how I said you need 90 pieces of content? Well, one video could equal five, seven, nine, 10 pieces of content. For example, the video that we did together building Kingdom Commonwealth in the 21st century. I ha I have it edited as one whole video. And then, so that's one. Then you come over here to YouTube Shorts. Somewhere in that video, I said, your goal should be to earn 250,000. That's a little snippet video. So that's two, then three, then four, then five. Five pieces of content, one video. Then we go to LinkedIn, six, seven, eight, nine. Same video but it's being posted on a different platform, different audience, All right? So that was like 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So now I have 14 pieces of content off of one live recorded workshop that we did together. 
and it's been reformatted for YouTube, LinkedIn, Instagram, IGTV. And so I could say, all right, on Monday, I post on YouTube. On Tuesday, Instagram. On Wednesday, YouTube again. On Thursday, LinkedIn. On Friday, YouTube again. On Saturday, Instagram. Sunday, LinkedIn, rinse and repeat. So now I no longer have to create so much content. I can start repurposing the same material, but I'm getting it in front of a new fresh pair of eyes on a totally different platform. What this starts to do in your favor is not only build your credibility because now you're on multiple different platforms and whatnot, but this helps you um, mitigate your risk of being canceled, demonetized, censored, whatever, right? You know, if you get, if you get a flag on one channel, well, you've got your Instagram and you got your clubhouse and you got your podcast and all this other stuff, right? And even then you could be shut down on everything. And that's where you have to go decentralized. Okay. And eventually all the content you create, you're going to want to eventually have a course, have a community. The Relationship Academy is a community which has content and resources. Same with Denzel. You come to my community, you come to my environment. I've got this right here, this Velocity Banking Manifesto. It's a program. People pay for it. All the content in here is stored safely. You can't cancel me here. You can't censor me here. You can't demonetize me here, right? And I have... 865 people in, in that program. So from the 40,000 subscribers here that follow me, right? 40,000 plus subscribers, 3.1 million views that resulted in over 865 clients, 865 clients. And, and the, re the real number is a little over 1,100. Um, these are current active members. The real number is over 1,100 clients. And over 1,100 clients resulted in over $1.2 million in revenue over the last three years, right? So these are the parameters that I have in, in place and that's it. That's, that's, you just got an inside look at how a content creator operates, a successful one might I add, and it's an efficient strategy, take it or leave it. Um, and I would say that the action step today is to go look at that blueprint public video on YouTube called 90, 90, 90 day rule to create content. That's your blueprint. It's public. I put it out there for everyone because I'm, I'm not an expert in the matter of creating content, but I'm just sharing with people. Here's my blueprint strategy. It's been working. I just showed you the results. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Right. Uh, and we go from there.